Good afternoon. Justice Minister Michael Masuta is the man in the lunchtime news wrap. He announced this afternoon that medical parole has been denied to Chris Harney's convicted killer, Clive Darby Lewis. The minister says there is no evidence to show that Darby Lewis' illness has rendered him physically incapacitated. And he also says that Darby Lewis has not shown the necessary remorse. Reaction is streaming in with people saying that the minister has taken a political decision, while there's now also indications that this case will go back to court. Former apartheid Vlakplaas commander Eugene de Kok received some good news, though. The minister said de Kok can start backing for his parole. According to the minister, he received some positive reports about the progress de Kok made while he was behind bars in a Pretoria prison for 20 years. He says de Kok is also continuing to assist families of the victims who disappeared during the apartheid years. The situation remains tense in Malamulele in Limpopo, where more police officers have been deployed from other parts of the country to keep the calm that while residents there are waiting anxiously for a decision and an announcement that can only come tomorrow afternoon from the Municipal Demarcation Board about their demands for their own municipality. The residents have already threatened with more violence if they do not get their own municipality that while the area, all businesses and all schools have been closed for the past three weeks. And we end the week from the message from ESCOM. So far, so good. No load sheddings on the cards for the weekend. That's providing that the electricity network stays stable. We also look forward to an announcement about our petrol price for February. That will come this afternoon. And economists predict that there could be another drop in the fuel prices. Join me again on Monday for our lunchtime news wrap.